thereby becoming the first British boxer of Asian descent to capture a championship. Now in his 17th pro fight, an opportunity to add the world title to his collection. And if home support would count for anything, Kalik simply couldn't go wrong. However, the unflappable Wise was the personification of serenity as he made his way to the ring. He'd won in hostile territory before, winning the title against Darren Bruce the previous December. He started out as the pre-fight favorite, but as we join the action in round five, Kalik is giving the champion a boxing lesson, and the American is already well behind on points. I don't think Willie Wise expected this. I certainly didn't. Spencer, did you expect this? I certainly never expected anything like this. Like I said, I may be leaning towards the champion at the start of this contest, but it's been all Kalik. Good shots again. Wise is starting to open up, and that means he'll be taking a risk. We sense that Wise really has got to open up because he's got to do something different because everything he's doing at the moment is not working. He needs a plan B. If it's not there, then he's in serious trouble. And as you say, when he starts opening up, he leaves himself open as well. It's a risky strategy, but plan A has done nothing for him. It's time to find an alternative. And surely the first part of any plan B is to work out how to stop that left jab. Turned into a cross there from Kalik. He's looking very sharp tonight. Yes, he's the best I've seen, Kalik. Really up for this contest. Got through with a good left hook to the body as well there. Really wise, his corner going crazy. Saying, jab, jab, get your jab going. Why showing a little bit more intent in this fifth round. Kalik again finding success with that right hand come left hook. Good right hand. Wise took it well. That was a good shot from Kalik. And here it is again, that left, that ramrod left. Just keeping Wise at bay, and look how smoothly Kalik just turned the tables on him and pinned him in the corner. His confidence is soaring. Well, again, here in round five, Kalik dominating. Mixing the shots up well, landed a couple of good left hooks to the body. I tell you what, though, there's a cut. I think Kalik is cut. The left eye is not looking good. There must have been a clash of heads. Now that levels things up. And hopefully. Between rounds, we can get a look at that and see how bad it is. What a tragedy that would be if this has to be stopped for that. Yeah, I think it's over the right eye, the right eyebrow. And Wise has seen it, and I think Kalik has sensed it. Yes, sir, it's over the left eye. Blood can flow into the eye. It's a dangerous place to be. Maybe we were speaking too soon. I didn't see a punch, did you? I didn't see any punch land at all, no, but Kalik seems to have stayed nice and calm. That's the that's the good thing, that's the plus thing, but let's see how bad that cut is. And now his cornermen have got to stay calm as well and go to work. Here it is, Spencer, that doesn't look too good. Just got a quick glimpse of it there. But perhaps not disastrous. This is, we think, how it happened. And there yeah. it is. Yes, like clash of heads, accidental clash of heads. Ben Benny King is the cuts man in Kalik's corner. A lot of people will tell you Benny King is the best cuts man in the UK and he is going to have his work cut out. Well, that does look quite a nasty cut over the eye as well. Seems to have done a jo good job on that, Benny King. Kalik, I had winning that Ooh. last round as well. Corner men did their work well. We'll rejoin the action in round nine. The cut is holding up, and Kalik is still very much in control of the contest. 
Benny King has done an excellent job. You see him, like I said, just applying the pressure with the swab stick. The gulf between them now on Spencer's card is enormous. I got Kalik seven rounds up with four to go. Really had him dominating this one. Wise, though, is still there. He's still on the receiving end. Don't ever count him out. But honestly, the cut aside, Spencer, this has been an outstanding performance from Kalik. Oh, it really has been a tremendous performance. And where better place to do it in his hometown of Nottingham? He's moved up, he really has. Again, just flicking out that jab. Strange tactics in the second half of the fight here from Willie Wise. Not taking that chance at all, just giving Kalik the space. Kalik doing pretty much as he pleases. Wise has just had no answer to that left, has he? He can't get past it. It's just got him pinned against the ropes. And Khalid being smart, keeping his head, not going crazy. Just got his man pinned against the ropes. And Wise seemingly running out of ideas. Lovely four-punch combination again from Khalid. Mature, solid performance. Big left hook. Why is no answer it's, to it's, it? It's well. a masterclass right now, quite frankly. It really is extraordinary. If they wrote a textbook on how to box a smart fight when you've got a bad cut, this is how you do it. That's exactly right. Tremendous maturity is showing. A lot of fighters would have got bothered by that. It would have affected them and perhaps they would have taken the gamble to go for it. But Kalik's boxing beautifully on the outside here. And these fans that were just a little bit subdued a couple of rounds ago are back in full voice now. And Wise has got to find another gear. Otherwise, he's going home empty-handed. Well, what that, a performance from Kalik so far. And listen to the crowd. Look at the crowd here. Really getting behind there, man. I, mean, I don't know about you, Nick, but that was another round I scored for Kalik. You couldn't, you couldn't call it any other way, Spencer. Wise is just not being able to do any work at all. He must be so far behind, whichever way you cut it. Oh, but Wise eight behind now, going with three to go. Wise just not taking that chance, he's standing back and giving Kalik too much room. And Kalik just picking him off. Here we see some good shot, look at that key shot through the whole fight, that long left jab. And this was that three, four punch combination. And then way again from Kalik. Beautiful stuff, masterclass boxing. Wise didn't land a shot worth even looking at for me in that round. Or the round before that for that matter. Kalik, who had that little wobble when he sustained the cut, really seems to have come through. The doctor less and less involved. There's no chit-chat now with Benny King. And the longer it goes, the more likely they are to let it finish. Round 10, there's just two more after this. Well, again, Kalik starting with that long jab. At some point, Spencer, Wise has just got to throw caution to the wind and come out and start throwing some bombs. He's not going to get a points decision here. But Nick, that's what you would expect, but we see no evidence of that at all at the moment. Very strange tactics indeed. Perhaps Wise just hasn't got it in the tank. Perhaps he is tired. The left 
through the middle from Wise. But it was just a single shot. At no point is Wise looking like taking control of this fight at the moment. And the longer it goes like this, the happier Kalik and his connections will be. There's just nothing coming from the American. No, it's all one-way traffic. Kalik from the first bell really dominated this. Wise just can't get past that left again. Bit of blood from the nose now of Kalik. He's going to come out of this marked up, which is some irony, considering he's barely been tagged. Just got to be careful there, Kalik. He got caught. Kalik can't yeah. take full to take no chances no, now. Wise sensed it. I think Wise knew he caught him. Now, can Wise keep this pressure on? There's a little chink of daylight for him. Because Kalik is backing up. Well, he's throwing the howitzers now, Wise. Kalik can't afford to take no chances, got to keep tight. Good right hand, Kalik, and Kalik just getting inside. The more he can mess and spoil and frustrate, the happier he will be. And Wise half-heartedly thought about finding another gear in this round, but he's just not been able to sustain it. And Wise, I'll maybe give a share of this round. He's done much better. Maybe this has been a little kind to him. Maybe just giving him a share of this round. Good round, by far the best round for the champion, certainly since the fourth or fifth round, I think it was. Kalik in total control and all he's got to do for my money is stay on his feet for the next six minutes and he's going to become the new IBO World to Eight champion of the world. And the doctor is still there but look at his body language he's further and further away from the scene now he's happy that Benny King has done his work. I'll tell you what Benny King has earned his money tonight hasn't he? He really has and you know, there's going to be one man that's going to be thanking him after this, and that's Kalik. It's a horrible cut, Spencer. If this wasn't a title fight, it, you couldn't make an argument for, uh, for allowing it to continue. No, you think that would have been stopped a few rounds ago had this not been for the IBO title. You heard his cornerman there say to Kalik, he's got to find another gear. He can't, he's got six minutes left, he can't coast it. He's got to stay alert. Wise, we know, finishes strongly. But Wise has first got to work out an answer to this left that has kept him at bay throughout this fight. Getting more of the same here in round 11. Very good work again from the jab of Kalik. Nice short right hand inside there from Kalik. Just made Wise step off momentarily there. Wise backing up. And you wonder about his self-belief as well. We talked about his toughness, but is there going to be a point where he thinks, you know what, I just can't do anything here? I doubt that very much, frankly, Spencer. Leak again in total control here. enough good things about Joe Kalik on this performance he's done virtually everything right 
Yeah, full credit to him. Started the contest well. Had that mini crisis when he got cut in the middle rounds. He's held himself together tremendously. He's having an excellent finish again here. Quite honestly, you would think with a cut like that, you would think it would be Willie Wise that was just racing away with these later rounds. Not so. Just the odd little shot from the American, but just not enough. Nowhere near enough. He's not even close, Spencer. Now, Kalik again dominating, just forcing it forward with that jab, really dominating behind that jab. And Willie Wise got no answer at all. Good long right hand. Khalid continuing to do the better work. You can't do it much better than that. Well, another excellent round again from Khalid. I've got him eight rounds up with one to go. The blood has started to flow from that cut, Spencer, but surely they won't stop it now. I don't think they will stop it now, not the 12th and final round. The doctors you, will be lynched. And you've just got to feel that Khalid just has to get through these three minutes to be crowned new champion. What on earth were you, would you be saying in Willie Wise's corner? What hope has he got? I know if I was in the corner, I'd just go, tell him to go out there, go hell for leather, full out, and let everything he's got left go, because he's tightly slipping away from him, and slipping away from him fast. It's, it's gone in three minutes, isn't it? Gone in three minutes for Willie Wise. It's all or nothing for the American. What a battle it's been. Not many people st stand sitting down at the moment it has been dramatic stuff here in nottingham the atmosphere really been electric the crowd played a massive part here with Kalik really been behind him but this has been a different class from from joe Aid Kalik tonight he really has you you see a performance like this and you wonder how far he's going to go it's been such an intelligent fight spencer yeah he boxed a tremendous contest as i said from the first bell he showed us something else tonight as well. He's picked up a nasty cut, kept his composure, boxed beautifully on the outside. And Wise, he's got to go for it. But frankly, I don't think he's got much left. And Khalid doesn't need to take any silly chances either. Well, look at the confidence from Khalid to stand in front of his man. And Wise... Look at Wise. You'd think he was three rounds up. Doing absolutely nothing at all. Very strange tactics indeed. He must know, Spencer, surely. I just don't think he's got an answer to that left. Kalik has made him look very, very old and very, very ordinary tonight. Listen to the crowd now, really getting behind their man. some late drama we have a new and a very worthy British world champion on our hands Philippe doing a sensible thing now keeping out of trouble just moving all the time good stuff making Willie Wise miss badly inside a minute now if Wise had started doing this four or five rounds ago it might have been more interesting well you really would have expected him to do that but been quite a disappointing performance from Willie Wise to oh. take nothing away from Kalik I was Kalik. just about to say the reason it's disappointing is because Kalik has, has just had superb tactics and Benny King well give him a big assist for this well, he really has played a massive part in this as well, Benny King, because I think the cut happened in the middle rounds. And had it not been for Benny King, 
this contest could well have been over. And he's nursed it so well from round five onwards, Kalik. Looks a bit shaky in round six. And then just got back to doing what he does so well, and what a performance. Well, you can sense the body language of both fighters Willie there. Willie Wise didn't even raise his gloves. He didn't knows. even go through the pretense. That's, as a, Spencer, that's as impressive a performance from a British fighter as I've seen in a long, long time. Yeah, exactly the same as that. He really did lift his game there, Kalik. Well, they're trying the Kidology in the wise corner. That's all they've got left now, Kidology. There's the nasty cut. It's still not bleeding badly. I mean, a remarkable job done in the corner. What a horrible cut that was as well. He's going to need some time to let that heal. But he knows. He knows. Look at the smile. They're going through a formality here. The, 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 the uh, scoring judges, Terry O'Connor from Birmingham, Paul Thomas from Derby, Don O'Neill from the United States. But Spencer, you, you, you've got him what? 118 to 110 for Kalik. That's a total outclassing, isn't it? There can only be one result, surely. Here's John McDonnell, our MC. I think he's just about ready. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. The judges' scores are as follows. Judge Terry O'Connor scores the contest 112-117. Judge Donald O'Neill scores it 110-117. And Judge Paul Thomas scores it 111-118. All three judges are in favor of. And a new RBO Waterway champion of the world, Dwayne Ali. Outstanding performance from the new world champion, Jawed Kali. It is going to be quite a night in Nottingham. This fellow has earned it. What a performance. He's the new world champion.